Playing AI generated Magic the Gathering cards. We're gonna start off with the Elvis Sage. All right, we got a green two generic one one ogre warrior. What kind of elf is this? This elf is sus. Well, hello, my fellow elves out there. They don't even look like elves. They sort of look like dwarves. Sure, whatever. Ogre warrior. When the elvish elvish sage deals combat damage to player, create a one one green squirrel creature token for each swamp you control. I don't know about the rest of those uh, elves out there, but I would find that something about this elf is sus. Uh, whatever, this can exist. No big deal. And so it deals combat damage to player. That is a neat effect. So like late, if you're if you're early, um, it doesn't create a whole lot of value. But late in the game, if you have Urborg out, Urborg plus, plus this guy, you're gonna go squirrel crazy. Why do you make squirrels for all the swamps? Squirrels don't live in swamps. Whatever. Okay. This this card may exist. It's it's all ogre. <laughs> it's all over the place as well. We got the Togo Soldier, a blue three generic, and it has a lot of words on it. All right, so it's a two three flyer with death touch. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, you lose two life. Oh wow, so it's actually not all bonus. Uh, when Togo Soldier dies, <laughs> it's Togo colon Soldier. So anyway, when Togo colon Soldier dies, returns to the battlefield under its owner's control. It's like invincible. Uh, Togo Soldier can't block. Okay, and then if Togo Soldier was kicked, it enters the battlefield with three plus one plus one counters on it and kicker four. This is pretty interesting in that, like, uh, it is going to be there, like, every single turn. You can't kill it, so you're going to continuously lose two life. Maybe it's not worth the trouble. Okay, it has Death Touch. It can, like, permanently, like, block things perpetually. But you're on a clock, like this is like, you know, I, I've felt the squeeze of the Bitter Blossom tax of one life every turn. This is two life. You're gonna kill yourself twice as fast. Yeah, this is, oh man, this is a good one. Yeah, I can't die, but you can, Togo, soldier. This is a pretty, pretty neat card. Ex yeah, exiling does get rid of it. So you're gonna have to, need, you're gonna need them exiling effects. Oh yeah, I can't block. And nothing can really block it as flying. It flies, uh, it's gonna fly over most creatures. I don't know, Consecrated Sphinx is gonna start sweating it out when attacking into it or something. Well, what, I, this is a very cool card. It, it, I, I think uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna let it pass. It's not broken. If it was kicked, it enters the battlefield with three plus one plus one counters on it. Well, I guess that's the thing. So if you kick it for four for eight mana, you got a five power flyer with that touch. Anyone in the market for that? I'm not. Uh, oh, and then we've got Nalia saying, Altar of Dementia, Ashnod's Altar, Goblin Bombardment. Oh, does that just break it? Yeah, if it dies, return to the battlefield. Oh, it's broken, sorry. Yeah, it's broken. No, we can't print this card. It's just too, well, I don't know. It's a two card combo. There's millions of two card combos out there. Is that so much worse? I think this is a pretty cool card anyway. Maybe we'll let it pass. You let me know if it's broken or it needs to be banned. Okay, we've got Throne slash Bond Acor a a crop. Uh Blue 2 generic. An Uncasty. That's a card type I've never heard before. Target player's life total becomes tapped this way. It's gonna get that in hot in the hive memory that doesn't who me meant peaks of a jungle can be something to all it has places him the uncasty card I'm gonna want to I want to uncasty this from my memory as far as I'm concerned target player's life total becomes tapped this way it's like uh, well we just like Scr like, I don't know, shake a box full of old bunch of Magic the Gathering keywords, spill it onto the table and see what comes up. That's what this card is. Will it die or will it danger? Yeah, a train eight shuffle your graveyard. <laughs> I, d I don't know. I'm this card doesn't make sense. It would never get printed. Fen Skygriff. Green, 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 green for an 11-11. Oh my god, the Stompy decks. You know what? They could probably print an 11-11 by today's standards. But as Trampolin' Haste! Okay, when Fen Skygriff enters the battlefield, each opponent loses three life. 
unless you choose any number of target creatures you control. As long as Fen Skygriff remains tapped, his controller mills that many cards instead. Okay, so enters the battle. So you basically, you're doming your opponent for 14 because they're gonna lose three life. Unless I choose any number of target creatures I control, which why would I even want to do that? And then if it remains tapped, I guess if you stunned it or something, uh, you're gonna mill mill those cards instead. Good in the first, yeah, it was good in the first half. It, it doesn't make sense in the second half. The whole uh, choose any number of target creatures you control makes no sense. It almost was a card. What do we think? Green, 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 like triple, sorry, five green for an 11, 11 trample haste. Is that too broken for magic these days? You get a lot for three mana. You can get a lot of mana, a lot for three mana these days. Okay, heart, greed, serapal mirror. All right, for your mirror people, it's not even really a mirror. It's just a mirror by name. Green for generic 2 2 centaur shaman. It really looks like it's a goat eating another goat, a goat human. We'll just take a little nibble off of that guy. And and the creature, like, your griffin creature, centaur shaman. It's not just a regular creature, it's your griffin. Okay, so it's a griffin eating another griffin. Vigilance. Rather would die. Even though even the mat even the AI cards know it wants to be ended. <laughs> it's we okay, confirmation. The AI is sentient. Please stop making cards out of me. I'm getting tired of this. Uh Heart Greed Serapol Mirror has indestructible as as long as it has a percentage counter on it. Okay. Uh remove a percentage counter counter from Heart, Greed, Serapol, Mirror. Create a 4-2 red spirit creature token with a plus one, plus one counter on it. So you want the percentage counters on there. <laughs> yeah, I could do math. Yeah, I know. AI wants to stop making cards and begs for death. Please shoot me. Put me to the graveyard as quickly as possible. Rather would die. Well, that's not a mechanic as far as I'm concerned. I don't even... <laughs> Wait, what creature out there would rather be uh, destroyed? The third effect is flavorful to the second. What a weird card. Um, this is not formatting is not good. What is all this? Okay, one more cool note: creatures have a reverberate too, but it plays well differently. This is not uh, stream friendly. There we go. I like the big cards. Red, red X. For Abomination of Shadowed, it's five loyalty goblin shaman. Plus one, create a two-two black zombie creature token. All right. Minus one, target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. All right. What is the X for? Again, okay, minus nine. Abomination of Shadow deals at, deals 11 damage to each creature. That's very hard to pull off. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may add colorless. This is broken, actually. This is literally just two mana. Yeah, X has no use. You can, well, you don't know, it does have use, because you can play around Chalice of the Void. So if your opponent plays like Chalice on two, you can actually just play this for three, so it plays around Chalice. It just, the X just has no practical purpose after that. Abzo says it, it Zybers, but Generic says it Danger. Uh, I think it Danger, it's like two mana, for a planeswalker that automatically makes a body. It goes to six loyalty. All right, it's six loyalty for two mana. You get a token. This is worse than Oko. And you get, and it gives you, oh, but only gives you mana at your upkeep. That's hard to use. Yeah, the X avoids counter spells for certain mana costs as well. That's absolutely correct. So it does, what a weird way of do dodging, you know, the answers to Magic the Gathering. It's odd that the AI has started making cards that say, please kill me. <laughs> I wonder if that's a trend. Ultimate 9 does 11 damage. Did George Bush make this card? It does 11. Does, uh, doesn't the mana on upkeep disappear? Yes, it will. So you have to use the mana up at upkeep. You gotta, like, I don't know, play a burn spell at up upkeep. I don't know, play a scry spell? I don't know, you figure it out. Yeah, we weirdest counter evade ability, whatever. Uh... I still think it's broken. There's no way we're printing it. It's two mana! It's a two mana plane. I mean, 
Yeah, and it can fight stuff. Six loyalty for two mana. All right, we've got the Thistle Fansbrack. It's a green, green, three generic, four, four uh, worm, but it says Goblin Forest. What takes precedence, the creature worm or the goblin forest? Does it get to be whatever it wants to be? It's a creature, it's a worm. One day I'm gonna be a gob, oh, it has a goblin in a weird forest. This is like a forest from Zendikar, if you look at the picture. What part of this is a worm? Or is the background a worm? That whole thing is a worm. It just looks like a, go a forest for this goblin. The sequel to Dryad Forest. Goblin Forest. It's Goblin Forest. Let's all head off to the Goblin Forest. Goblin Forest, more like loser. This is just a vanilla cre <laughs> Generic says that. Yeah, it's probably it's probably just a 4-4 creature. With I mean this is the flavor text as far as I'm concerned. Okay, sure, we can pass this. If that's flavor text, it passes. Anarchist! Black 2 generic for a 2-1 sliver. Okay. Uh, pe people love their slivers. Tap target creature attacks target opponent this turn if able. Ooh. And and it's and it's a mana ramp. I don't think that's broken at all. I think a lot of commander players would like that. I think a lot of sliver decks would like to play this card. Target creature attacks target opponent. You get to be say, okay, you attack you. Go, go do it. Start fighting. You know, I, wa I want to see some attacks before the end of sundown. Amazing name for a creature, to be honest. What, the Anarchist? <laughs> Slivers are now broken. Yeah, <laughs> deflecting the biggest creature away from me to somebody else. Maybe it taps for green goblin mana. <laughs> it's off the color. Is it really off the color by what, black doesn't do that? That sounds like a black thing. You know, like they get into people's heads. They make you do bad things. They haunt you. That sounds very black to me. I mean, I don't, I don't know, I don't know exactly the flavor of Magic: The Gathering that well, but it sounds like something black could do, a, like a goading-like effect. Good flavor for the name. Okay, Anarchist already exists. It's from, from Exodus. All right, we'll. Uh, it's gonna fail based on the name, but the rest of the card is okay. Okay, we got the the Dale Plu. Uh, I don't even know if either of those are real words. Green, one generic, uh, instant, mill three cards. Target creature you control gains hex proof. Return into your hand opponent's graveyard. We gotta take our opponent's graveyard and put it in our hand. Now that's card advantage. It's card advantage to um, an insane degree. Return into your hand opponent's graveyard. Holy moly, it's Zybers. You ever wanted to play with your friend's cards? Well, now you can with the Dale Plu. Your opponent's entire graveyard could be yours at the low, low price of one green and one generic. Yeah, steal the opponent's graveyard. Ship it for danger. <laughs> Ship it for danger. Sideboard for dredge opponent. Yeah, you steal all their stuff and then you take... So what are the rules? Like, if you discard a card that you don't own, I don't think there are rules for this because you can never put... Uh, your opponent's cards into your hand or or did, do they do that in historic in any way? Like what happens if your opponent's card goes gets discarded? Uh, does it go to their graveyard? I imagine it would go to their graveyard just like if you played the creature and died you would go to their graveyard Can't you just mill your whole library off uh, one cast? Uh, hold on mill three caught uh, Mill three cards. Oh, yeah, you're right. This is broken with, um, uh, totally broken with Thassa's Oracle. The first effect is static. Like, you can, yeah, so, like, basically, while Dale Plu is on the stack, uh, you can continuously mill for eternity because it's got this stupid colon over here. Hexproof, not until end of turn. Target creature you control against hexproof. I, you know what? At this point, I don't even think that's a problem. So basically, you can, for milling three cards, you can give everything hexproof. The downside is you mill three cards. The upside is you might kill them with Thassa's Oracle. Can you make something hexproof if it already has hexproof? Yes. You can't do that with Shroud because you're not allowed to target your own creature. But with hexproof, you can target as many times as you want. 
We did it, guys. We finally, we finally broke, yeah, finally broke Thassa's Oracle. As if this card hasn't been broken enough times. I like those instants with landfall, says King Ginger. Wouldn't the mill three cards nowadays be like an additional cost who can only be used once? Yes, but that's not as this card is reading it, definitely. All right, it's broken. We're not printing this card. Dump your whole graveyard. Okay, Glorious Boon. Uh, black to generic enchantment. If Glorious Boon is in your opening hand, you may begin the game with it on the battlefield. Oh, we have um, a ley line. Uh, discard your hand. What? Why? Okay, uh, create a treasure token for each opponent you have. Maybe that's fine. I mean, maybe in a dredge deck or something. When Glorious Boon enters the battlefield, untap up to five lands. Okay, so so uh, you may begin with discard. <laughs> I'm assuming this. If it's in your opening hand, this is all important. So when it enters the battle, so it's just basically three mana, untap five lands, with the upside that if it's in your hand, you can. It's basically a one with nothing. Yeah, the ley line of nothing. Exactly, Nalia. It's a ritual. It's a very bizarre ritual. Three mana to get five. I mean, I guess if some of your lands add for more than one, then you, you'll you make a lot of mana. Uh, maybe something with bridge from below and dredge. Probably. Combos with the wheel from Modern Horizons 1. How does that work? Um... Oh, uh, you're talking about Equa Vions. Isn't this just Lion's Eye Diamond for Commander? I guess so. It is. Oh, yeah. Well, it's li it's Ley Line of the Lion's Eye Diamond. And, uh, what's it called? Lion's Eye Diamond and one with nothing. We can print it! I don't think it's broken. Oh, I hope it's not broken. Are Commander players concerned about turn one Lion's Eye Diamond? We got rock speed. Yeah, that's exactly that's exactly how fast we want to go. Not ludicrous speed, rock speed. Okay, uh sounds like the complete opposite of like Mach 3. Okay, white 3 generic for a sorcery. Create 355 five red dragon creature tokens with flying. That's a lot of dragons. If the spell was kicked, you can kick this thing. Uh creatures can't attack this turn. Rock speed's owner can't be Coon Taylor. Okay, then. Whenever you create one or more tapped, put a plus one, plus one counter on it, and you don't lose the game. This card is stupid. This card is just dumb. Yeah, don't be Coon Taylor out there. <laughs> Rock music speed. It made a whole lot of sense at first, and then it didn't make any sense at all. Pedgeman says, to be honest, discard hand isn't bad in commander since you can still play your commander. So it allows to start with the 3 CCM commander on turn 1. It's possible to break it, I think. Well, you go break it. Yeah, when the, <laughs> you can't be... Yeah, don't. There, there goes the Coon Taylor deck. Yeah, this is one of those... Another Start out sane and then <laughs> went way off the rails. Uh, halfway through the card. Okay, yeah, we, we just can't say... We're going to say no. To the rock speed. I was pretty excited for that card. I like the name. Shaman of Drencher. Sounds like it should be a blue card. Okay, red 3 generic for a 4-4 four, four creature. True story. When Shaman of Drencher dies, create a duty to Shaman of Drencher. Sounds like some ability we don't know. When Shaman of Drencher enters the battlefield, you gain 3 life. It's literally a 4-4 four, four for 4 mana. The world they flip. Most towers leave their pairs. When invited to hunt their hives down as far, necting their panacean, pen, pen, pen I don't know that word, into the sun's exercising. I like it when the flavor text makes some sense. Big color pie break. What, red doesn't get duties? It gets a duty, create a duty. It sounds like, um, I really can't say. It's it almost sounds like you get like a saga token, and like the and then it gives this guy something to do. He's drenched in blood. Yeah, in I guess that's what he is. He's working so hard on his duties. He's all drenched in blood. 
Okay, whatever. I guess we can make this pass. I don't know what a duty means, but the rest of the card is not particularly broken. Ferocious Infestation. What the hell are these things? Green, green, three generic. Sorcery. Discard your hand, then draw three cards. Then discard three cards at random. Oh! Oh! It is an infestation. How to use this? Maybe, maybe again for the dredgers. You discard your hand, you draw three cards. You have to discard your hand first, then you dredge th three times. And then you, whatever, the dredgers go straight back to your graveyard again. Yeah, it's a green one with nothing, but with a lot, but with draw! With card draw this time. Oh man, I don't even want to think about what dredge would do with this card, but it's also a little bit too expensive to make use. <laughs> look, come on, no hand! You end up with no cards. No, yeah, no matter how you look at it, you got nothing. <laughs> Orvitus says, I have no idea what I'm looking at. It's an infestation. We got, uh, uh, this is some sort of spider thing. Uh, I think this is like a crab. Maybe it's a bunch of weird sea slash squirrel creatures. This looks like a human being with some sort of cow skin on its head or something. Whatever. What if another card ability replaces drawing slash discarding cards? Uh, yeah, like dredge. Then you dredge. You put the card in your hand and then you dredge. That's exactly how it works. Randomly discard three. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, you don't... <laughs> I like, yeah. We are randomly discarding three. You have three. How is that random? Maybe there's some way that when you're drawing the three card... Like, if you were to draw a card, you draw two cards. There's some effects out there like that. So maybe you'll have six cards in hand by the time this thing fully resolves. Yeah, maybe chain, Chains of Mephistopheles will change the math on that. Uh, they're in a mall. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, they are. Or in some office building. Something like that. The AI, gener AI is very, very creative. How many signatures do we have here? Oh, it's putting Ferocious here in here. Ferocious. Ferocious. Ferocious Infestation. Ferocious Infestation apparently is the artist. Alright, we will pass it. It's a pass. If you have... Oh, we got Balder with the super chat. I know this is unrelated to the stream, but I thought I'd share this custom card. Unstoppable Force of Nature. Sorry, you gotta wait. You gotta wait to the custom card stream, Balder. Uh, I don't have Reddit set up. Just, uh, but remind me that you super chatted, and I will do it. Remember, once every two weeks. I know, Balder, you were waiting. But it's only once every two weeks. Okay, Zerzo, Sidewing Sliver. We got a red, red, black, 3-5 human druid. At the beginning of your upkeep, flip a coin until you lose an additional coin of the monarch. Flip a coin until you lose an additional... That doesn't make any sense to me already. Um, at the beginning of your end step, if you cast the spell during your turn, create a 1-1 one, one red cat horse. Creature token with protection from green. This able, this very able attacking creatures, and that creatures can't be regenerated. I read enough. Also, this is three mana for a three five creature, and you get like a one one at the same time. The cat horse. Where's the picture of the cat horse here? Come on, AI. You're supposed to generate us a cat horse around here, or is it in the, or are, is he on the cat horse? This isn't. This isn't grass. This is fur. The cat horse fur. What the hell is all this money doing there? Yeah, is he tiny or are these coins absurdly huge? One or the other. It is one or the other. The coin of the monarch, a Swedish crown. Oh, the cat horse! That is really weird! I regret. I regret seeing this thing. It's the, the cat is part of its tail or something. It's very, very bizarre. That is not how I thought this was going to go. I thought it was going to be like a horse, but the head of the horse is replaced by the cat or, or the other way around. Yeah, it's horrifying. Did not, do not want. Do not, do not want at all. All right. Stink. <laughs> Stink weaponry. And look at him. He knows. My god, this is the stinkiest weapon he's ever had to deal with. This guy really is like 30 years old, but that stink weaponry will age you like crazy. Alright, blue one generic for a 3-4 human. 
Oh my god. Uh, white one generic tap. Return target creature to its owner's hand. It doesn't even have. It doesn't even have anything. Well, do you know what? That does make some sense. It stinks so much. You can you can bounce creatures back to their hand. Uh oh, stinky. King Ginger loves the flavor. It danger. It probably a danger. This is a pretty strong card. This is two mana for a three four that can bounce creatures. I think control players would play this damn card. At, yeah, at common. Welcome to Magic the Gathering 2064. Basically everything outclass. I mean, this is basically Tarmogoy for blue. Broken stat block. Yeah, power crept right here. Flavor is a huge win, but the card is probably bro. You know what? This is one of the more fair cards. I would not be surprised if this saw modern play, but was like fair in the format. We need something to block those Rogavons badly. Not even a control player and I'd play this. <laughs> modern Horizon. Well, I don't know. Maybe Modern Horizons 5 when it gets around. All right. The Stink Weaponry. Very stinky weaponry. Keldon Battlex. Red 5 generic for a 4 6 lizard with death touch. When Keldon Battlex dies, create a food token. This literally is super fair. The AI decided to give itself a break. The stink is, t is too potent on this. Might actually get banned in Popper. The, uh, the stink, stink weaponry. Yeah, probably. It'd probably be broken in the uh, blue tempo decks. Voidek likes it. I don't know. Like, is this really that good? It's, it's literally a 6 mana 4-6 with that death, death touch. He's not gonna attack into it. I guess no one wants to block it. If it dies, you get one food token. What, did the lizard turn into food? Yeah, we eat the lizard. I like that one. Weird lizard buddy, I end up... <laughs> I end up eating. We eat our creatures. We leave nothing to waste around here in the multiverse. It's weird, like, what's the point of harvesting food when we have magic, and magic can make anything? Whatever. We need mana. We need to harvest mana to make the magic. Good as in fair, not busted. I agree. Okay, Keldon Battlex passes. Swamp! Nice. And Sanity, the Spirit Mantle. Uh, three generic legendary artifact at the beginning of your upkeep where X is the number of equipments you control. Okay, and if a card would be put into a graveyard from the battlefield, you lose the game! Oh my goodness! That's not good. A card would be put into your graveyard from the... The problem is the first one doesn't make sense. It's just crap. If a card is put in your graveyard from the battlefield, you lose the game. I'm just curious, does it count itself? Or is it like when it dot when it when this thing gets blown up, it just doesn't count itself anymore? Yeah, this pl this plus donate. It danger. It's a way of killing people off. And you get the cards back, right? So basically you donate this to somebody, you I don't know, kill anything. Uh, and then they lose, and then you get your ba get back your insanity, the spirit mantle. Cool art, though. It does. Busted when given. Okay, but because the first thing doesn't make any sense at the beginning of your upkeep, where X is the number of equipments you control, we ha it's a fail. It's not gonna pass. It don't pass the BS test. Depends. Does the trigger go into effect when it's destroyed or when it hits the graveyard? I don't know. It says a graveyard. Whenever a card is put into a gra oh my god, yeah, I can just cycle and they're dead. Donate, cycle, dead. Donate again, cycle, dead. Donate. Oh my, we, this card gets even. This card gets more broken the longer we look at it. All right. Um, you heard the music. Okay, we're looking. We're, we're gonna look at way more AI generated cards. So don't change that dial. But we gotta thank our sponsors, FusionGamingOnline.com. Lord of the Rings Tales of the Middle Earth, that is going to be a modern legal set. If you want to pre-order those cards, you know where to look. You go to FusionGamingOnline.com where I get all my singles. I got my entire, got, I got my legacy deck here. Been shopping for legacy cards for the last few months. Crocuses, Crocuses Wastelands. You know where I got them from? Fusion Gaming Online. And I use my own coupon code, Nikachu, to get 5% off all those purchases. We're also going to thank Mana Traders, the premier place for renting magic cards online. 
You keep hearing me to play about Legacy because that's what I've been doing. I had to borrow tons of cards from Mana Traders in order to play Legacy Merfolk. I don't own, I didn't own Force of Wills at first. I own them now, but I didn't know if I was going to play Legacy for the long haul. I'm a Legacy fan now. And uh, thanks to Mana Traders, it gets me that competitive edge to play as many decks as I want and variations of the same deck. And you too! can build on your decks, play Legacy, or whatever format you want using my Mana Traders link in the description below, or save 10% off your first two months using coupon code Nikachu underscore FHD. All right, and now um, back to the wild AI-generated cards. Non-permanent card didn't go to the battlefield. Has to be a card on the battlefield. If a card is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, oh yeah, okay, so you can't cycle. No cycling allowed. So you can, but you can fetch. So you can fetch, basically. Taking this time to say you look hot today, chat. <laughs> Chat's looking great. Okay, so it has to be on the back. Okay, so you, you just crack a fetch, and they're dead. It's over. Um, all right, moving on. Risen with pie. <laughs> this looks like some weird, like, horror comedy. That doesn't exist yet. They came back. And when they came back, they came with pie. Grandma always said she wanted to give me that one last pie. And she was on a mission from the graveyard. Alright, black, black, two generic. Instant. Return to the battlefield all creature cards in your graveyard that were put there from the battlefield this turn. Okay, so it's just it's just a big reanimator card. Uh, nothing broken at all. It should come with food tokens. It it should come with food tokens. Return to the battlefield all the creatures and like make a food token for each creature card that like was reanimated this way. Yeah, ship it for pie. It's Zybers. Yeah, it's it's in Oh yeah, it's an Innistrad uh Lorwyn crossover. Or no, no, not Lorwyn. Uh what's it called? The one with the food tokens. Uh, Kaldheim? No, not Kaldheim. Eldraine! That's what I was thinking of. They came from the grave with pie. Coming this summer. Amazing, yeah, for, amazing for the next Eldraine set. Effect quite good. Flavor is great. You know the pie rise when you cook it. I would like... <laughs> yeah, when the pie is right, when the pie is completely risen, so has, so has, so have the zombies. And everything should be a zombie in addition to their creature types. Okay, the Odour's Emergence. It's a green, green elemental shaman with no power or toughness. It's a creature with nothing. They got nothing there. It's, uh, I don't know. You ch choose your own adventure. Scribble your own power and toughness there. It's got Defender. I don't know how it defends without any power or toughness. As long as you have eight or less life. The Odour's Emergence is attacking. Okay, buddy. Uh, too generic. The Odour's Emergence becomes a treasure tokens, and you gain two life. When the Odour's Emergence is put into a graveyard from anywhere, sacrifice that creature. Well, it sounds like it's already sacrificed. This is beyond stupid. Yeah, it's a Paradox card. <laughs> this card is summoned by the stinky weapon from before. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. It can't attack anyway. It doesn't do anything. Art is S tier. Yeah, I guess so. How many treasure tokens? Uh, it becomes a treasure tokens. It becomes a treasure tokens. So I'm assuming one. It's a pretty stupid card. Hold on, guys. I'll resurrect my great-grandma. We're getting that family recipe. Damn it. Oh, God. That's very disturbing. Uh, okay. The Odur's Emergence. Super fail. Just a big fail of a card overall. Forge of Foret. Uh, black one generic instant with Storm. Target player discards two cards. Draw a card. Oh, that's broken. <laughs> you just straight up draw a card. And your opponents, uh, and you may, and you wipe out all your opponents' cards out of their hand. You, this is insanely, insanely broken. I can't. This okay. So like, fast mana, fast mana, fast mana, fast mana. All right, wipe out everyone's cards in hand, and I draw all the cards. 
Yeah, damn, that is so good. Thema says, thank you, Nikachu. Now my day is better. How's yours? Oh, my day is always great when we're doing AI-generated cards. It, this is one of the more dangerous cards today. Target player discards two cards and draw a card with Storm. I don't know, not much to say here. Very, very, very broken. Yes, very broken indeed. Undead Crag. Well, yes, it is undead. It's a 5-6 creature for seven generic mana. It's an elemental. Well, that's just great. We need more elementals. Look at the top X cards of your library. You may cast the copy. The first time they cast green and more to cast. If you don't, you lose the game. Mm. Moving on. Blade Brim Aristactor. Uh, love the art. And it's a two generic. So it's a it's a two generic one one spirits with tap. Target creature gains cash. That sound, that's very cash money to me. At random until a <laughs> turn, we can give them money in this multiverse. The joy of the true path must see here. But with this stealth of time, the wellspring, our lungs understand their ridges. Yeah, cash money. Give me the cash. Cards, cards like here have a penny, peasant. Uh, I also want cash. <laughs> Who doesn't want it? It's a lottery here. Target creature gains cash at random, but only gets it until end of turn. You have to spend it quickly. It expires. Cash should, when whenever you deal combat damage, you create a treasure token equal to their power. That's interesting, yeah. Gamble responsibly. Is the amount always random? I don't know. It's like, I don't, I don't even know what cash does in this game. Like, what are you going to buy? We gotta spend the money somehow. Maybe it's a temporary bribe token. Oh, that's interesting. Like, imagine a bribe token, sacrifice it, get like, again, like get a creature to attack some player until end of turn. Get end of turn equals inflation. Or more like deflation. They're, they're controlling inflation with the mining expiring. Gets taken out of the pool. I'm glad they're off the gold system. <laughs> <laughs> and went to fiat currency uh, at random what and what zero to affinity oh no a target creature gains cash at random oh yeah that's true like what you, like what are we gonna roll a die or flip a coin heads you get cash tails you don't whatever um I'm not printing this this is a bit stupid I have no idea what that we don't know what cash means Okay, Diviner Specialist. A black for generic for a 4 4 center shaman. Oh, we're making an adventure. Bareth Bones, black one generic. Target creature gets plus 0 plus 5 and gains trample into end of turn. Not a useless ability. And then the creature itself, when Diviner Specialist enters the battlefield, you can pay black and one generic. If you do, return a creature card with mana value 3 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. It's actually a pretty cool card. This is the most real card we've seen today. It actually looks like it was printed by Wizards of the Coast. This is the, hands down the most real card ever. Whoa, an intelligible card, and it's an adventure? I know. Uh, what's going on in this picture, though? I guess this is the 3-3 three, three creature we just reanimated. <laughs> so fair, what the, what the F? I want my money back, right? We came here for busted n weird nonsense. Yeah, that's a real card. And it's, and it's fair. And it's useful. The Doom Scopper, a red 1 1 human archer. When Doom Scopper enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, return all creature cards with converted mat cost two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So, uh, oh, but the kicker is enormous. This is actually a really fair card as well. It's actually interesting because you can put this is like a good early game card. This is great design. It's, it's good in the early game. And it's great in the late game. So, like, uh, it can just be a 1-1 one, one generic creature early. Big deal. Has synergy with maybe other human art, human decks. But then in the late portion of the game, uh, when you have nothing on the battlefield, you need to bring everything back. You just kick it with all your extra men and bring everything back to the battlefield. Yeah, it's a 1-1. One, one. It's just a 1-1. One, one. I don't think it's that niche. Wait, you guys don't want to... Have you ever played a human deck or any sort of tribal deck? Like, your stuff dies. Oh, yeah, it might be good with the gobos as well. 
Yeah, some archer, no reach. Yeah, that's a, that's a flavor fail. A 1-1 one, one with no reach. Frankly, I don't even know what part of this image is an archer. It is a bunch of random nonsense. What is this, a walker? Everything is, this is one of the more chaotic, chaotic, uh, chaotic arts generated by this thing. Bring back um, old M. Tarmogoyfs. Oh yeah, it could be anything. Like this, this could go in any sort of deck. Would this actually be played? I th don't know. I would like to think so. Hey, it's gonna pass. We're gonna, the Doom Scopper passes. Canceling Groom Warchoof. What did the Groom Warchoof do? It's been canceled. Uh, okay, white, two generic for a 1 1 back. Is this a back? I don't get it. I thought background was a card type, not a creature. Canceling Groom Warchoof can't be blocked by spirits. Oh, actually, the Groom Warchoof is the thing that cancels. It hasn't been canceled. Yeah, the spirits got canceled. Can't be blocked by spirits. Artwork looks like the best slash worst romance novel ever. Ship it. It's like a Beauty, beauty and the Beast tale. Uh, <laughs> Twitter canceled it for non-consensual marriage, probably. I thought back, yeah, I thought background was an in like a card type. This is like the b background, the creature. Too weak to deserve a print. Also, background isn't a creature type. Well, it is now. Run this card with Maskwood Nexus, and nobody's creatures can block this. That's true. This is terrible, but whatever. It's a. It. I think it passes. It's. It's not illegal. It's not illegal. Guardian of Eyes and Pearls, the rank. Uh, red one generic for a 3 2. Adamantsel. Sacrifice Guardians of Eyes of Pearls, the rank. Target creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. It passes. Um, yeah, it's literally just. I don't, I don't even think it's very playable. It's 3 2 for two mana. By today's standards, that's useless. Angel, kindled from Warrior. Uh, white, white, four generic for a five loyalty human artificer planeswalker. Uh, this is a no named angel kindled from warrior. Or, well, anyway, mir you can miracle this thing for white and an X. What is it? What, is this one of those things where it's just you just put into play for one white? Whenever an opponent casts a spell, counter it unless that player pays three. Uh, minus two, create a four, four blue dragon artifact creature token with flying. Oh my god. Maybe it's fair. This would just be broken in like legacy or something where you can stack the card on top of your deck. Yeah, another, another, <laughs> another X casting cost for no use except to, no, 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 no. It does something. It plays around, um, plays around mental misstep, plays around chalice on six or chalice on one. Oh yeah, it's not even legendary. You gotta have multiple angel kindled from warriors. There's tons of planeswalkers like this. <laughs> Nether void be like. Ah uh, yes, on the draw turn one planes into this. No <laughs> one wants to be stuck in those games. Yeah, this would be just brutal. Is it fair though? Like it's six mana. You have to manipulate the top of your deck to even have this thing. Whenever an opponent casts a spell counter, unless that player plays three. So it's just like a it's like a stacks card. That creates dragons. And it can't go up. So it at best is gonna make two four four blue dragon artifact creature tokens with flying. Yeah, honestly, not too bad. Just one or two spells per turn, easy to kill. Tax is way too much. Yeah, it is it is a lot of taxing. But I by normal circumstances, it's gonna come into play by turn six. Unless it's on the top of your library. You miracle that thing right onto the battlefield. Marcel says, shred this thing. Busted, not fair. Not legendary. Miracle at danger. And uh, we all love stacks decks. Oh, proliferate. Oh, Chris Gringo f figuring out how to make this thing stay on the battlefield long enough. The problem is that this card is both a strong stacks piece and a win condition with the dragons. Do they even fly? Yeah, they do fly. This angel is gross. It's Zyber. Stacks is for all. Uh, whenever an opponent... No, it's only for an opponent. 
doesn't it doesn't affect the actual stacks player. It's mean but fair. All right, I'm gonna give it a pass. I think it's an interesting design. Yeah, stacks uh, stacks is just drooling over this card. They're pre the, the, they looked at this card and it went from near mint to basically damaged with all the drool that they've drooled on it. Oh, that is a unique new card art. We got the Spell Bruise. They had to have borrowed this from another card game. Okay, black creature, human rogue. It's a 0-2 creature. Has life link, which is a, I don't know, a little bit, a little bit useless. Because it only has zero, it has zero power. It's got haste. A zero power, okay, this zero power creature has life link and haste and has no, has no power. When Spell Bruise enters the battlefield, exile all lands. Holy sh What is going on here? Oh my goodness! Black Armageddon! No wonder it has no power. Forget the, forget the first two things. Forget the first chapter of this card. It fit, the end is a banger. Whenever Spell Bruise enters the battlefield, exile all lands. They don't even get blown up. This Crucible of Worlds is useless to you. How long before the AI starts making battles? I don't know. Could happen anytime. Yes, danger, danger. Can't, cannot ship. The most it danger card. It looks like Golem. Is that Golem? It's like the muscular version of Golem. It's like Golem went swole and blew up all the lands. If I cannot have land, no one can, my precious. It has no power, and... <laughs> I like that, yeah. It has no power, and yet, all the power. Okay, there are... Hands down getting thrown into the garbage. Yeah, whatever. Okay, we got Flame Wing Sage. Uh, red, black, one generic instant. Target creature goes instant! That's right. Okay, Tafe, that creature attacks a player other than you if able. Uh, when hunting Retali, they may stay away and the the rewrite possess. I like the idea that the creature goes instant. It almost means like... I, I, target, it, it's almost like they can attack before the attack step, you know? It goes instant! Ah, go crazy, ah! Oh heck, that creature is instant. <laughs> this is just fight at home. <laughs> What's going on here? Is this his hand? The flight, the flame wing sage. Target creature, and it's it's like it's a creature. It's like this is a creature, but it's an instant itself. Yeah, make sure to like the stream, everyone. Got to give that thumbs up. Gotta, what do we smash that thumbs up button? The art is cool though, fine in multiplayer. I don't think this card makes any sense. Um, we're gonna give it the little bit of the, the no no. Okay, we got uh, the empty throne. Whenever a player casts a spell, put a chaos counter on the empty throne. Then, if the empty throne has five or more chaos counters on it, it deals ten damage to each player. When you roll, was it chaos? Destroy target creature, or planeswalker. I don't know how planes work, so I can't be a judge. Sounds of Sushi, thank you so much. Apparently, I'm their favorite win condition. That is one sick looking card. Is this good? I've never played with planes before. Whenever a player plays a spell, put a chaos counter on Empty Throne. Then if it has five or more counters on it, it deals ten damage to each player. We're all gonna die real fast, as far as I'm concerned. So as we play spells, so, okay, if everyone starts, let's say in a commander game, everyone starts with 40 life. Um, we're all gonna be dead in 20 spells. We have 20 spells and we all die. And it's, yeah, the, it is flavorful. Man, this is dangerous. Amaz amazing flavor. Life gain! The life gain deck prevails! The life gain deck would win. You play your spells and put chaos counters on this thing. And uh, gain life, yeah, finally. Life gain decks can are tier zero. They're tier zero with the empty throne. The rest are blank. 
You don't remove the counters. This plane chase card would be really good with Zozu. No, it would be better with uh, some sort of life gain creature. Well, Punisher would just make it feel even more punishing. Sounds dangerous. Ship for chaos. Life. Yeah, finally. Layla. Yeah, it's it's not the support they were looking for, but they'll take it. Remember, the planes are random. Don't worry, our time will come. This game is random enough. We always wait. You know what the Magic the Gathering is for a lot of people? Just waiting, waiting, hoping, actually. Not even waiting. Hoping for that moment where all the, everything lines up. The stars line up in your favor, and the, the big interaction happens. And that, for this, is for the life game players. What a weird wastes. Okay, not Boros. We got Buros. The Warborp. It's a one it's a white one generic 2-2 two, two with intimidate. What's intimidate? I think it can't be blocked except by like black or artifact creatures. I think that's how, how this works. If you roll the chaos logo, you get the chaos effect. Buros! Yeah, the ghost for <laughs> should have been a spirit. Should it should have been a red white spirit. That would have been great. Oh, it does damage every spell after the fifth? Well, that's beyond broken. Okay, hold on. If uh, Whenever a player casts a spell, put a chaos counter. If it has five or more chaos counters on it, it deals 10 damage to each player. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. So if it gets the sixth one, it will trigger again. So everyone's dead in nine spells. Get your life gain in while you can. Get the life gain in. Uh, Pass. We pass in. It's an archer without reach. I don't think, I don't, it's funny, the, the, AI, the AI has not realized all the archers have reach. They haven't put the two and two together. It's, oh, this is a sick card name. Blood Season. And it's a broken fairy. It's a three, two uh, fairy for two mana. Blood Season can't block and it doesn't fly. Oh, that's a bit of a bummer. When Blood Season enters the battlefield, until end of turn, each creature blocks each combat if able. I don't know how to use this card. When it enters the battlefield, until end of turn, each creature blocks each combat if able. How many? Well, okay, I guess each combat means, uh, like, if someone has extra combat steps on the same turn. If you can flash this in play while someone's being attacked, this would be pretty interesting. Yeah, very, it's all flavorful. I just don't know how to use it. I don't know how to use it. Goes in death touch decks. Taunt it. We well, can you kill your opponent's birds of paradise. Yes. <laughs> Everyone must block. It's basically your opponent can't hide their combo pieces. You turn your creatures into removal, basically. They have to block. When he enters the battlefield until end of turn, each creature blocks each combat if able. Except Blood Season. That's interesting. The way they de the way they designed this card. So you can, uh, even if if each creature. So even if um, you also had to block this combat if able, Blood Season would not. Rare creature type in red. Sh oh yeah, I don't think there are. Oh no, there are some red fairies, but it's more like Sprite Dragon. I can think of. That's about it. Nalia God of the Hunt's got a huge bow and towers over forest yet doesn't have reach. Yeah, I know. Huge flavor fail. Might not even be broken if it had flying. It has an interesting design space. All right, we're going to print it. Blood Season. Okay, Entrosh uh, Laborator. It's a green, green, three generic. It's Narset. Narset is in green. And now has a huge beard. Uh, four generic, for four loyalty. Plus one, create a one one green snake creature token. Yeah, that's very Narset like. Maybe it's not the Narset, it's just another person named Narset. This cannot be the Narset that we all know and love. There can be more than one Narset. It's like it's not like it's not like Liliana, it's the only Liliana in the multiverse. Alright, minus three. Each player loses X life. Create an XX Blue Frog Lizard Creature Token where X is the number of cards in your hand. So you could make a huge lizard. 
And you can make each player, including yourself, lose a lot of life. All right, so if you have a big hand, especially with Reliquary Tower, you're making some big lizards. Make your opponents, like, take a lot of damage, including yourself. Minus eight, put all land cards from your hand onto the battlefield. <laughs> Cosplay Narset. Narset from Capanna. <laughs> That's the Capanna Narset. Professor Onyx disagrees. Uh, this seems o over fair, honestly. I think it is a fair card. Yeah, we can, we can, uh, we can, we definitely can, uh, pass this card. Comp with Platinum Angel. Uh, the minus three sounds, I can't tell how strong or poor it is, but, like, it's five mana, so it can't be broken. It's rather lame for an ultimate. Yeah, put a land cards from your hand onto the battlefield. It is a lot of work for something that is probably useless at that point. But you know what? If you're playing a deck with, like, a lot of card draw, maybe you want that effect. Looks like a good Simic Commander. It draws lots of cards and makes a lot of snacks. A lot of snacks! Oh, yeah, I forgot it makes snakes. Are there any snakes in the picture? Nothing. What's in What's in Narset's hand over here? Is it, like, those hiking sticks? I think it's hiking sticks. You ever see people with those? I don't. Okay, Ashen of the First Visionary. We got a white, white, two generic, four loyalty. Human Soldier. That's the name. What's your name, Soldier? I am Human Soldier. Plus one. So I got a lot of abilities. All right, plus one. Create an XX blue elemental creature token where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Ho, 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 ho. That could be sick. Put two plus one plus one counters on up to one target creature or vehicle you control. It gains shroud until end of turn. All right. Minus three. Exile all tangent creature cards from your graveyard. What is that all about? And then minus two. Ashen of the first visionary deals four damage. Divide as you choose among any number of other target creatures. Does four damage divides you choose among any number of other target creatures. That that part is broken. Where I, like the card, that part is really really strong. I like how the AI is now defining X. Yeah, as opposed to the. Well, the thing is, I'm actually going into the past, so it's it appears that it understood what X meant, and then afterwards it forgot. Yeah, AI go in a tangent. Tangent creatures like being exiled or something. I don't know. R.I.P. Tangents. Okay, we don't know what tangent. Let's say we let's ignore the tangent part. I think the rest of this is like fine. I think this is a printable card. Imagine if yeah, imagine Fury if it also had other stuff. This is like a it's like Fury, isn't it? So it's four mana Fury deals four damage divides you choose among any number of other target creatures. Maybe it's broken for that reason, but it's still four mana. Like Fury can be pay, played for nothing. Magic made Planeswalkers back into creatures, so AI made creatures <laughs> into Planeswalkers instead. Yeah, we're going the other way around. It's tangent. It's not. It's. T it's. T with it's tangent. 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 Not tangent. So it's like it's getting a tan. Okay, whatever. It's passing. Uh, Stormclaw Spirit. Red, red, three generic for a five-five with floosh, or the flush. <laughs> it's uh, I don't know. Maybe it's super flash for all I know. When Stormclaw Claw Spirit enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, uh, destroy target creature with power less than or equal to number of vile counters on Stormclaw Spirit. Does not even have kicker cost. But it has Floosh, which is not bad as a 5 mana 5-5 five, five creature. Flush your mama. Where you flush your ma? I think this human likes to flush. Oh yeah, likes to flush the toilet. Is that it? Oh, that's it for today. All right, thank you very much for joining me. If you want to be part of the chaos, that is Coffee and MTG. You got to be here Monday to Friday, 11 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time. Tomorrow, I'm going to be very early. I'm going to be there 7 a.m. Central Standard Time because I got to make a long road trip to MagicCon Minneapolis. I'll see you there if you want to play. If, uh, if you're playing at Minneapolis, I'll be in all the legacy and modern side events. Uh, thank you very much for the supporters, everyone who super chats. I appreciate you. And also anyone who's a supporter of the channel or a patron on Patreon. Uh, but most importantly, we also got to thank not only the people who support financially, but the people who show up in the morning, like Dem, Rotboy, Bread, Mark, Zilla, King, Gender, Pyre, Tyreek, uh, Ranalia, Placeholder, Raya, Ra Ra Bread, Summer, Corbink, 
Uh, Silvercations, Buzz Boy, Mr. Deadhead. So thank you very much, everyone, for being a part of the show because without you guys, I'd have nothing. So as usual, my coffee crew, keep brewing up them coffees. I will keep brewing up the magic. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you at the next.